mean you mean what I you mean what I'm thinking? Another woman, like <laughs> woman. Okay. Wow. So you don't celebrate your wife on her birthday? I celebrate my wife. In fact, my wife's last birthday, but I can't. So you celebrate birthdays now? Or you just go old? Hell, hell, hell. Who did? Who did? Who did? I am a queen of kicks. It's your girl in the building. Get your hour to leave you, okay? I'm on the street. I want to ask a few questions concerning relationship. All right. So let me not just give you guys the full gist. Just come along with me. I have this cute guy. Eh? Five of us. Come along. Let's give you questions about his relationship. Let's go. All right. So, hmm. Let's meet him. What's your name, please? I'm Big Bright. Big bright. Okay. Do you have a girlfriend? I'm married. Okay, you're married. With how many kids, please? No kids yet. No kids yet. When did you get married? Last two years. Last two years. Oh, okay. All right. That's cool. So how is your baby girl? She's fine. She's good. Fine. Where are you from, please? Abia State. Abia State. Your wife and call? Abia State. Abia State. Hmm. It seems uh, you believe in this uh, marriage yeah, from your no, state. No, no. It just happened like that. I it mean, just happened like yeah. that. Yeah. Oh. It happened like that. Ah, okay. Yeah. But do you believe, okay, if you had seen someone from another state that you're in love with, would you have married the person? My ex was in those states, so. So why didn't you, why didn't you walk out? Uh, family issue. Okay, family issue. So I don't have any issue with where you're coming from as long as i'm cool with you okay all right that's okay okay let's say mm, you plan going on a travel maybe something happened maybe you missed your flight or the program didn't work out again and you decided to go home then on getting home you now meet your wife with another man they are sleeping together what would you do the marriage is over man. it's fucking uh, it's as simple as that yeah of course the marriage is over what would you do at that particular point in time? There is nothing I would do. She already knows that the marriage is over. So what I'm going to do is quietly lock the door and find my way out. Of course, by the time I come back, she must have been packing her things and leaving. If she doesn't do that, I'll fight for a divorce. The marriage is over. Wow. My wife cannot cheat on me. In our matrimonial bed. That, okay, that, what if that. she does it aside? If I don't you, know, no problem. If you let me not just it. get, let me not just know about it. I mean, which eyes will I be looking at you, knowing fully well that I caught you red-handed? Like not cheating. It does not. Cheating. <laughs> do it, do, 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 it, do, do. <laughs> So if, if you do it outside, as long as you didn't, I'm okay. I didn't see you, but you don't tell me about it. I'm okay with that. Well, you know, if it's a woman that happens to see that kind of stuff, do you know if the if the husband asks for forgiveness, the woman will forgive. He's forgive forgiveness depends on who on the forgiver and the forgivee. <laughs> so if she decides to forgive, it's for herself. Me, I don't forgive that kind of thing. I can't. I won't. Mm. Yeah. If I'm in her shoes and she files for divorce, I will gladly sign it. Wow. You won't ask her for forgiveness? If I do and she refuses, because me, I will refuse. Okay. Mm. That's great. Okay. Another question I want to ask you. Let's say um, somebody just, um, you know, should I use this word? Or she took something, they gave her something that she lost consciousness. Okay. Then they removed her clothes and took her pictures with another man for, for them to use it to frame her up, to be to extort money from her. Then your wife now closed her mouth. She doesn't know how to tell you because you've been warning her about this particular friend of hers that did this thing to her. So she closed her mouth. She doesn't know how to tell you because you're going to get angry because you have warned her about that particular friend of hers. Now, at the end of the day, um, she summoned courage to come and tell you what happened. What would you do in that situation? What would be action? Um, like Tiwa Savage, I really um, remove my cap for her. I usually tell people that the only remedy and solution to blackmailing is to come clean. If she tells me that this is what happened, I mean, I wouldn't have any choice other than to forgive and i mean not even forgiveness let the sleeping dog lies don't allow anybody to blackmail you for anything come clean i mean 
Okay, tell the person because they will keep on blackmailing you. They keep on ripping you till God knows when. So come clean. So in that situation, you will forgive your wife. Yes. Wow. Even if somebody sleeps with my wife, I didn't catch them red-handed. Maybe, like you said, something happened, and they are using it for blackmail. If you tell me, I'll forgive. But not like I'm coming back to my matrimonial home and I'm seeing it. That, this is an intentional act. It's not... I mean, your consent is there. But when someone is drugged and you're sleeping with the person, the person's conscience, um, the person consent it's not is not there. All right. Thank you so much. So, how are you spending your Valentine? How are you planning your Valentine? I'm not a Valentine person. I'm not oh, a birthday person. I don't celebrate Valentine. I don't celebrate birthdays. Wow. Um, there is this church I know that don't celebrate this. It's not a, a church. It doesn't have anything to do with religion at all. It's just personal stuff. I don't. Wow. So you don't celebrate your wife on her birthday? I celebrate my wife. In fact. My wife's last birthday, I bought her a car. So you celebrate birthdays now? Or you just Mine. go home? Oh. Yes. Well, your wife can celebrate you on your birthday. If she decides to buy me something, but there is no party, no nothing, nothing, no stress. If she decides to buy me something as a wife, I mean, I will take it. So on 14th, you will be taking your wife? I'm not taking her anywhere. She already knows that about me now. She knows that I'm not... A, I mean, I love daily. Like, I love daily. Are you serious, guys? And hey, everybody, hey. everybody that knows I have me. I a different type of guy today. Everybody, hey. everybody that knows me on social media knows that I love my wife daily. I will go out daily. We are, I mean, we rock life daily. We love daily. Are you serious? Uh, I think, let me know down in the comment section. Would you go out or marry a guy who doesn't celebrate <laughs> birthdays or, you know, 14th, Lover's Day of all days, Lover's Day, that he needs to take you out or, you know, even if he doesn't take you out or that, at least he should give you a good reason for not taking you out. Not that he doesn't celebrate it. Please, I want to know you guys. Comment it down in, in, in the comment section, okay? I want to know what you guys think about this. Would you date a guy who doesn't celebrate birthdays and lovers' day, guys? I want to know, please, my friends and kings. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, you have heard what he said. I appreciate you all for watching and for sharing my videos. See you guys.